content creator Sally Eslin and the founder of Empowered Clothing. I empower women over 50 to create a conscious and intentional lifestyle on my show, Finding Your Way with Sally Eslin. And hi everyone. Yeah, I'm Sally and I'm a content creator and a holistically fit specialist. I share authentic and everyday issues for women over 50. So you can learn more about my fashion and products and services at empowerclothing.com.au. So today we're talking all about the heart and I've got a very special feature guest, Christine Bell, and we're going to be talking about how to speak from the heart. So before I bring Christine up, I'd just like to um, share a few lines about a Um, with her bio. So Christine is a customer strategist and a market researcher. She helps small business owners and entrepreneurs co-create a one-page customer strategy blueprint that aligns their offer and marketing with their ideal target market's real motivations, needs and wants. The benefits are greater impact, connection, recall and persuasion power, helping her clients convert more sales with ease. So Christine has got over 25 years experience working internationally as a customer strategist and consumer insight specialist in advertising agencies, brand strategy and innovation consultancies and strategic market research. She's got a wealth of knowledge. So without further ado, let's bring up Christine. Welcome, welcome, welcome. There we go. Hi, can you see and hear me okay? (laughs) Absolutely. Nice to see you and thank you for having me. Uh, Very welcome. So yes, you've got an awesome bio there and working with customers is one of your... part of your purpose in life hey does that bring you joy what talk to me about that yes it brings me joy to learn about other people so coming from a background of strategy in advertising and branding and innovation and also market research is all about really understanding people what's really going on why are we feeling how we're feeling and why we're behaving the way we behave it's psychology really and just really connecting with people more deeply and this is what I help my clients do understand the target market so they can connect more deeply with them at a heart level because this is where we build loyalty this is where we build long-term relationships and this is where the real gold is both from a place of joy but also from a place of money I love it. it. We're talking about coming from the heart today and it's coming from the, that heart space, that heart space connection, that authentic connection with your customers, putting yourself in their shoes and understanding, you know, what their problems are or what, what their pains are and, you know, what they're wanting to gain out of life. Yeah. Mm. So today you've brought along a little empowerment share because, as I said, we're talking about all about how to speak from the heart. And your empowerment share is that... Back in um, 2015, you suffered burnout and you just didn't know it. You quit your job and you just couldn't take a job working for others. And it started, it was the kickstart for you of your entrepreneurial and personal development journey. So do you want to talk a little bit about that? Yeah. So basically, I started my career 25 years ago and I was gone ho I was going to do X, Y, Z. I was going to travel the world. I was going to live abroad. And I did all of those things and I got all the dream jobs I wanted. But somehow things just didn't quite, as much as I enjoyed those jobs, I was working really, really long hours, which is, you know, a lot of us do that. Mm -hmm. But there was something else that was happening in terms of me not understanding how amazing I was, me not seeing my own power, me not buying into the value I was adding to clients and to the companies I worked for, the agencies I worked for. And it was really interesting. I realized at one point that all my bosses have been narcissists to varying degrees Mm. and you can start blaming others or you can stop and go hold on something is up and there is a repetitive uh, thing that's coming up for me again and again here Mm -hmm. and it really started with me not trusting myself and not believing in myself so when I burned out I did not know I was burned out I did not even know it existed I didn't know what it was I just one day couldn't do it anymore I just walked out of a job quit walked out someone else offered me even a greater job with greater money I turned it down wow and and the recruiter was really upset by that but I turned it down in my heart it just went you can't keep doing this And I had quit a job before this last job that I stayed in for three years. I had already quit a job, but I didn't have the guts to do my own business, although I tried and I got some clients in. I was so nervous. So, again, there was something in me that didn't realize how great I was, that didn't trust myself. And then I took a job, stayed in for three years. I signed that contract thinking, oh, I wish they wouldn't hire me. 
Wow. Wow. Because I felt like I should take it because there's great money and everything else. And I couldn't, you know, and I needed the money and everything else. But deep inside, I wish they didn't hire me. And that was really interesting. But I took the job and then stayed for three years because I thought this is going to look bad on my CV if I quit again. Yeah. yeah so yeah. three years and it was worse than the last time in terms of uh, politics and toxic environment. And even though I was working long hours and I was doing a great job, I was always kind of not feeling great in myself. So I quit yeah. again. And at that point, my personal development journey started. I did not realize this either. I sat down and cried for three months. Didn't know <laughs> what was wrong. Yeah. Uh, listened to Brene Brown, read her books, all sorts of things. And suddenly there was something in me that said, you need some help here, mm. you know, and you need to figure out how to help yourself not knowing what was going on. I always knew I had a low self-esteem. Mm. I always knew that because my parents used to tell me, you don't have any self-worth. They didn't give me any solution to it. They just said it's an issue. Mm. But they also suffer for it. And both of my parents also have the same, yeah? So no one was there to help me. Mm. And um, so with this in mind, I started getting help. And I realized that I had lost myself. Yes, long hours can contribute to burnout, but the biggest contributor, I believe, and I'm not an expert, is that when we don't trust ourselves, when we don't love ourselves, when we don't see our yeah. value, what happens is I had become so good at trying to be what I thought other people wanted yeah. me to be. I had become a chameleon, and I had done it since I was a child with friends and school and everything to fit in, to be part of the cool girls or the popular girls. Yeah. I had learned so well to change myself so others would like me, or at least I thought they would like me, yeah? But in that process, I completely lost touch with myself and my heart. I could still hear my intuition because I'm a very intuitive person by nature. I'm an empath by nature, which I didn't realize either. I could feel everyone's feelings and energies, but I took them on as my own and was blaming myself for it if I could feel someone else not liking me I would blame myself rather than think mm. what's going on with them yeah mm. and I had lost myself so much becoming the chameleon and that played out in my whole life up until you know I uh, when I was 2005 I was over 40 yeah 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 I mean you sum up the people that they these shows are for because it takes courage to to bring in change and you're absolutely spot on. It always comes down to self-value, self-worth. When we're we're trying to be people pleasers to other people, a lot of people I work with, and particularly women, are very empathetic. So trying to please others, do the right thing. You you know you've done all your education, so you should be doing this and you should be doing that. But we both of us we work with energy, so you're following the energy. And if it doesn't feel right in your heart, it doesn't feel right in your gut. You know what am I doing? And then when you turn down these jobs, it doesn't make sense because it's good money, right? But it just yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't uh, joy, joyful. It wasn't making your soul sing. It was crushing your soul. And it takes courage to draw that line in the sand and say, hang on, it's not working for me. And, you know, there's so many things or in our lives that we do and think, mm -hmm. you know, I shouldn't be doing it. It doesn't feel right. And, you know, I know you have to have the awareness to be able to change, right? So you, you went through that awareness phase of it, it's not yeah. sitting right with me and, you know, and, and that's, I think you're saying something really big here is a lot of us, especially with empaths, we can hear our intuition, but mm. we choose not to follow it. Yeah. We override it with our brain. We override it with the mind rather than listening to the heart. And in that process, every time you override it, I have shut down my heart a little bit more. Yeah. 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 It's a little yeah. bit more broken, not fixed, but just shut it down, suppress it. Don't follow my intuition. Yeah, and because often it in, includes saying no to people and, yeah. you know, we don't want to let people down, but then when it doesn't feel right, we're going against ourselves. And so where's the damage? It's to ourselves. It's to our own souls. It's to our own hearts. And, you know, when we, we speak from the heart as well and speaking the truth, when we come from a place of love, respect and dignity and speak the truth, you know, it, it People respect that, you know, and and we're role models for others and we're here to help guide and assist other people to have the courage or find that courage to bring in the change that you really want because what you've done is turn it around. So how's your life looking now that you've done that? It looks great, but I will say to what you're just saying is mm -hmm. it's really hard sometimes to have the courage because mm -hmm. to speak from our heart because the people around us that we have been people-pleasing for so long aren't necessarily going to like the new part of us, yeah? Mm. It's changing the dynamic and it yep. may 
result in some people walking away from us or getting angry with us because we are no longer who they want us to be. We're mm. now ourselves. We're becoming closer to who we are and speaking from our heart. So I've been through that process. I just wanted to say that because, you know, as much as we can say, just do it, there's a lot of reasons why we don't, yeah? And fear is yeah. a big one. Fear uh, is huge. And so my life is, has turned around. It's it's still in process, yeah? It's not like one day I went, oh, yeah, this is the missing link. Let's just learn to love my heart again, yeah? yeah. It's a huge journey. There's a lot of coaching. There was a lot of uh, – took me on a spiritual journey I did not anticipate. A lot of – I listened to a lot of different great people out there on YouTube for free, you know, because at one point I couldn't afford coaching anymore, yeah? Because <laughs> I yeah. also turned down the great job. I was trying to build a business at the same time while healing myself. And and so it wasn't easy and it hasn't been easy. It's still not easy, but I feel very much aligned with myself now. I feel – yep. You know what the biggest feeling is? And you have been a great part of it too, by the way, in terms of really your healing sessions are amazing. And what has helped me is I have so much peace in my life now. It sounds strange, but there's so much peace within me. And funny enough, the more peace I have in here and the more quiet I have in my life uh, inside, the more that you can that manifest in my actual world. And my life is very peaceful, very quiet now. Mm -hmm. But it's very, very nice and very, very um, in line with who I am, actually. And that's, I was just about to say, you're very stable because you're in alignment and flow. And when you're in that space, you find that inner peace. So that's what I do is help people go from the inner pain to, to find the inner gain, which is the inner peace. Yeah. And when you're in that, you're in your lane, right? So you just feel comfortable. And so when you have sometimes these challenging or difficult conversations, mm -hmm. When you're coming from that place of love, you know, it's okay. And people actually respect that. Yeah. Uh, because when, as you mentioned, when we're on this spiritual journey, we choose the what and allow the how to happen. I, I like to call it a magic carpet ride. You know, we're working with the universe. You know, we're, we're riding that wave of energy and we're not sure what, what corner it's going to take us. We're on roundabouts, but we don't know where we're getting off half the time. <laughs> exactly. And so when we're following that energy, we know it's taking us. Once we trust and believe and allow, and as you say, it's incredibly tricky to do, just you know, just start with simple, small steps. But yeah. the more that you allow that trust and believe and allow to follow that energy, it's amazing the doors that open. And look, I met you because of it, you know. It's yeah. incredible, incredible people, incredible experiences. And, you know, it's all, we're all a work in progress and we're all evolving with this energetic shift yeah. and going on the spiritual journey. And, like, it does bring this inner peace so that you can navigate life more effectively from that place of peace because that's your foundation. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. And it, it's so amazing. And even though, you know, I have good days and bad days, you know, but mm -hmm. the change now is that even when there's difficult situations going on in my life, I am able to, you know, feel that fear potentially or the frustration or whatever those negative feelings are, yeah. but I'm not guilting myself about it. I'm not blaming myself for it the same way that I used to. And I'm more able to even a long walk or listening to something or having a healing session with you will help me come straight back into the peace, even if it's a difficult situation. Mm, it's it's so true. It's having the tools and techniques to get us back into that because we do get derailed every day. There's yeah. things coming with destabilizing it. Yeah. It's oh, a crazy I world out there right now. So we're all getting destabilized, whether on purpose or not. We're all feeling through difficult situation at this point. Everyone is having challenges. Everyone, everyone, everyone. And that leads in very nicely to your expert tip, which is, you know, learning to meditate and breathe into your heart has really helped you connect deeper with yourself and your intuition and to truly love and trust yourself through personal development and spirituality. It's really helped you rediscover your self-worth. So, yeah, do you want to talk a little bit about that? It's super important, breath work, meditation, totally right. Yeah, up. so I, you know, didn't come from a, a background of learning to meditate. I was in the, you know, advertising world. It was full-on Mad Men style, you know. Uh, that wasn't the place for meditation but you know as I realized that I had to change my course of life and left my job started building my own business at the same time uh, one of the key things I was learning was to spend more time with myself mm -hmm. in nature and learning to also breathe more slowly and what I learned was that I had very superficial breathing ah right 
yep. and that that's how it's functioning which leads to other sorts of problems both in terms of how we react and response and health problems apparently too but but as you learn to and i did learn this from you know specialist in terms of on youtube you can find a lot of them yeah <laughs> and, and just learning to breathe and really spend time with myself yeah and then the key thing is and i think you taught me this as well is when i breathe I actually focus on the heart. Mm. You can place your hand over your heart. It's connected. Yeah. It still goes all the way down, but I feel and almost see, visualize that the air is going into my heart and opening it up more and expanding it more because my heart was very close down when I started working with you even, and that was several years in, yeah? Yeah. It's still pretty close down, and there's been a big journey to open it up again because what happens when we suppress for long enough we don't just open it up like this yeah, that quickly. Right. It's it's a process and it takes time for the heart to trust again that it's valued and it's seen and it's heard. So learning to breathe into my heart whilst breathing more deeply all the time yeah. has been really powerful. And I must say, having coaches and healers around me and whether it's something free on YouTube or, or uh, something I pay for services uh, when I can afford it is really, really important. Mm, absolutely well because breath is energy and so when you're doing shallow breathing you're constricting yourself when you're taking big deep belly even belly breaths which we do you know you're opening up your heart chakra you're opening up your lungs you're opening up allowing more love into your heart because and visualize it visualization is so uh helpful in really allowing this expansion within your whole energy system right breathing in expanding your lungs breathing in expanding and allowing this love into your heart you know you can tell by people's postures you know when they've got the rounded shoulders yeah. when they're doing shallow breathing you know because you were allowing the breath and energy into every cell of the body, bringing in fresh, rejuvenated chi, energy, oxygen, everything into our cells. Because that's what we're doing. You're fueling our cells with fresh energy, with fresh, fresh oxygen and fresh life. And then exhaling out all the stuff you don't need to hang on to. So often I get people to visualise exhaling out grey, misty smoke and letting all the toxins and toxic thoughts and feelings out of the system and out of your muscles and out of your cells. So that breath and meditation, it's just because meditation is basically just turning off from the noise around us, yeah. you know, and allowing you to go within and to find that inner peace that you were talking about. Like super, wow, we are so on the same page. It's hilarious. But, um, you know, so super important because that links into today we're all about the heart chakra, right? And um, heart, the, the heart chakra is obviously located near the heart center of the chest and you can use the color pink or the color green so i just chose pink just because it, it's a women's line and more women tend to navigate with pink but i could be wrong but you know th this heart chakra is all about love empathy compassion self-love forgiveness and self-worth and um so what I've done is I've got these like range of candles. I'll show you a little picture of this is like what I'm wearing. It's the, the racerback style, which is in the pink. So when you're wearing the clothing, because it's empowered clothing, you can step into this heart chakra. I want to call in more love into my life. I'm choosing to love more. And um, I've got these little candles that are infused with Australian essences and they have the uh, the pink um, rose quartz crystals on the top so that you can feel empowered and work with the affirmations around them so I choose to be empowered I'm oh, sorry I choose to love or embracing um, you know all the love into my life it's you should I wish you could smell through the camera because it smells really <laughs> nice maybe one day technology will allow it yeah that would be a game changer in terms of buying online yeah, 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 yeah. Because it, with each of these little tops, you get little crystals that you can pop into the the um, pocket. Um, and you know, like I'm a visual, touchy feely person, so you can have your um, your little uh, crystal with you in your top. And there we go. There's our little thing, our little. Um, and then what else was going to show? You? I've got a long sleeve one too. So the great thing about the clothing is that they're they're bamboo and so they've got beautiful moisture wicking and it's soft and it's luxe and you just feel, you can feel the love when you wear it. So there's one with a long sleeve on there, move it around. And beautiful. Yeah. yeah. So um, and what else was I going to say? Oh, that's where it is. And 
uh, yeah, love for yourself, joy as you journey through life, freedom to be who you truly are. So the clothing just, you know, encapsulates everything about stepping into this heart, heart chakra, calling in the heart energy, all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, so um, opening up your heart, how does it really make you feel? Like does it give you the tingles? Describe, you know, when you're opening up your heart more. It feels peaceful. Peaceful, yeah. It feels very... Uh calm steady it's an inner knowing there's a deep sort of um sense of knowing yeah of trusting and it's hard to explain how it feels there is joy but you know not always when we speak from the heart it's it's not always joy that we're speaking yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. you know often it's difficult conversations when we That's speak from the true. heart yeah and and so it's more of a steadiness, a stability, uh, a sense of trust. Mm -hmm. That And there's a sense of when you express yourself fully from the heart where you don't have all the stuff going on in the head, oh, I should have said that, I should have done that, I'm still angry about that. It's like, no, I said my piece in the best way possible. So it usually allows me to speak in a more um, conscious way. Yep. where I'm not throwing out all my toys out of the baskets. I'm more <laughs> trying to uh, communicate in a way where I am really truthful to myself, which the heart appreciates, mm. but also in a place where I'm better at communicating without throwing my tantrums at others, without projecting my stuff onto others. I'm more present. Yeah. I'm more aware of how people are responding to it whether they like it or not i can feel it as well mm. and but if it is my truth then i'm not questioning it uh, i'm not trying to make excuses for it if that makes sense oh absolutely because when you're speaking from the heart coming from that place of love there is that inner peace because you feel aligned and there's that there is the joy when you come from it even Joy is an acronym for the journey of yours. Yeah. So yeah. when you're following your heart, you're following the journey that's truly aligned with your authentic self, with your energy. And there's that beautiful warmth, you know, that glow in the heart. You know when you have a yeah. hug, like when you're yeah. hugging Harvey yeah. the dog or having your hubby or something, yeah. or kids, you can feel that warmth and love and that's the energy that you're feeling and that's that heart-spaced energy. It's just such yeah. a beautiful space. So, yeah. Totally. There can still sometimes be fear, especially if you are communicating a truth for someone else that they yeah. need to hear. Yeah. They, for me, there's still sometimes a little bit of fear, but it's over overridden by the sense of peace and knowing that I'm aligned and I am at least getting out my truth. Mm. So, therefore, I feel that I have acknowledged and respected and seen myself, and that is true in terms of that joy and that warmth that comes from that. Yeah, you know, but often sometimes, you know, it's also nice conversations we're having where we can actually communicate our honest feelings. You know, if we've been scared about sharing sharing certain things, you know, we can actually say this is who I really am. Yep. Without hiding anymore, yeah. Without thinking, are you going to like what I'm about or not in business? Are you going to think yep. I'm great or not? Because even when I choose, you know, when I work with clients now, I because it's a I still work with people one on one. It's really important that there's alignment between us. Totally. And and that for me is really important having those conversations with people beforehand to feel if we align because that makes for co-creation, it makes for collaboration. And if that is not there, that energy, yeah, then sometimes it means I have to walk away mentally and emotionally from potential money because it's simply never gonna work out well for us if I work with a certain person. Yeah, this is definitely the age of, of being honest and the truth. And as you just touched on, it is the also the age of where we're co-creating, connecting, collaborating with others, but of like-minded. And so it has to be the same vibes. It, it's like it's non-negotiable as you've just yeah. experienced through your journey and I've done exactly the same. It didn't feel right. You were actually li literally get yourself sick. You got burnt out. I got burnt out. I just got, you know, mental trauma, whatever. Just um, so moving forward. Forward, it has to have that heart space connection yeah. 
it is being honest in our conversations about it, but we're co-creating. This is an individual universe. We, we're all a collective universe, right? Yeah. And it's so it's the, the unity, the oneness that we're working towards. So yeah. that's why the energies have to match. And, man, I just love it because we are so speaking on the same page. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why we co-create really well together, yeah? Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And that's really important. Maybe it's different when I have a passive uh, self-paced course where, where there isn't the same uh, interaction. But even so, energetically, we our energy speaks volumes on uh, on YouTube and on on the screen as well. Yeah. You know, we think it's just in person, but it's also coming through on a Zoom. Yeah, you can feel people's energy if you tap right. into it. Yeah, uh, and it's really important that it feels good to the heart. It may not be an easy always. There can always be some nickels because we might be put together to work out some stuff for each other. Uh, but but it has to feel. It has to feel like there's a heart connection, yeah? Absolutely. I, yeah. We're not in the business of make, pleasing others like we used to be. We, we're we still empowered empaths, but as part of being an empowered empath, people resonate towards us. So, you know, we're not here trying to, to buy new friends. Friends just resonate towards us, like-minded people, and that's what this new energy shift is all about, and that's what we're all about here is empowering women over 50 that it's okay to, you know, not like some people or not hang out with some people and like others. It's just an energy thing and, you know, just go with that heart space, you know, just be led by that, by led, yeah. led by that energy. Mm. And sometimes I will say this is, has happened to me and it surprised me. Uh, I connected with someone on LinkedIn. We were very much speaking from the same language of where we're coming from, did different things, but we're speaking from the same language and then we got on a Zoom and the energy wasn't there. We were really? Very, it was really oh. interesting. Yeah. It was right. like uh, there was something going on for both of us. It just didn't gel as soon as we got on Zoom. It was really interesting. Huh. And then you have to go, we both went, ah, we actually spoke about it. It's like, ah, this is interesting, yeah? Yeah, yeah. And it was like kind of a disappointment, but, you know, very much, it happens sometimes. You know, we can think the best, but once we get on a Zoom, you will know immediately. I know. It's so funny you bring that up because I was talking to someone the other day about online dating and I said, you can't do it. Like just you, you, I've got to feel energy, right? You've got to see, feel the energy. That's just me and that's just by a picture, yes, eyes can talk and that sort of thing, yeah. but it's really once you're feeling the energy of somebody else, then you can really connect with someone. Until you meet life. someone, then, you know, whether Zoom or, or actually in person, especially if it's romantic, yeah, uh, yeah. you know, you got to trust the feeling then yeah you know don't you know you got a feeling but then we may have to also get to know people better and go is this really a match or not or are we here to just clear out some stuff yeah well as i say on my top i choose to love and that's what it's all about baby and that's how that's the energy that i'm choosing in my life <laughs> so christine exactly thank you, thank, you, thank you for coming on and being a guest on finding your way thank you for having me i love these heartfelt conversations because this is what is important. People get it and they relate to it because they're genuine, authentic, and it's about everyday issues that we have. So I can't thank you enough for just being genuine, authentic, and you and for showing up. So thank you, thank you. Well, thank it's you. a real me showing up now, not the one that was wanting to be liked and and popular, yeah? Yeah, and how much more comfortable are you in your own skin? How much better are you sleeping better, doing all the other things? So much better. So it's just awesome. And let it go of attachment to other people liking me. Yeah, yeah, that's super important. Absolutely. Well, I'm going to drop you down okay. into the green room. So thank you so much for being on the show. And we look forward to chatting to you again along the tracks, go down the tracks. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So join me for another episode of Finding Your Way with Sally Eslin next Wednesday at 3 p.m. Pacific Time and Thursday at 10 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Um, you know, just speak from the heart, live from the heart. Just that's the energy that's just the way to go these days. So that's my little parting words and I look forward to catching you all next week. And with that, I'm just going to drop myself down and uh, see you on the other side. Okie dokie. Thank you for joining me today. You can learn more about me, my Empowered Clothing, products and services at empoweredclothing.com.au. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Sally Eslin, the Holistically Fit Specialist.